Wouldn't it be great if God would just talk out loud to us? I'm a kid just like you, and I think it would be really cool if God would just talk to us right out of heaven. Wouldn't that be amazing? Sometimes it might seem like God doesn't talk to people like that anymore, but God does talk to us. Sometimes we might miss it though if we're not being attentive. Today, I'm going to tell you a true story of a time where God talked right out of heaven to a little kid. We're also going to learn about how God talks to us today, even to kids like us. The Bible says in 1 Samuel chapter 3, that in Israel, there was a married lady named Hannah who had no children. She asked God for a son and God answered her prayer. When her little boy Samuel was old enough, she brought him to the temple to serve God as she had promised she would do. In those days, the sons of Eli disobeyed God. The priests were supposed to be men who spoke to God for the people. They were also in charge of the sacrifices that were a picture of Jesus, who had come to die for their sins. But Eli's sons were not doing their job. They were stealing things that they were supposed to be for God, and they were doing a lot of things that displeased God. The people did not like to bring God gifts at the temple anymore because they knew Eli's sons would steal their gifts and treat them rudely. Eli was not happy with his sons, but he let them be priests anyway. God stopped talking to the priests, and so the people were not hearing from God either. Little Samuel helped Eli with jobs around the temple each day. He grew up very differently compared to the sons of Eli. As the years went by, the Bible says Samuel grew taller and he grew in favor with God and man. That means people liked him and that God was pleased with him. If other people around you are disobeying God or treating others rudely, you might think, that you have to be like them. But you and I can be attentive to what God is saying and choose to follow in his ways instead of your own. That's what Samuel did. One night as Samuel was sleeping, God called to him. Samuel. Samuel jumped up and ran to Eli, asking, you called? Eli was very old and couldn't see very well anymore. He told Samuel he had not called and told him to go back to bed. Once again, God called Samuel. Samuel. Samuel jumped up and ran to Eli again. This happened three times. Finally, Eli understood that God was calling to Samuel. Samuel, go lay down, he instructed. When he calls you again, you must say, Speak, Lord, for your servant hears. Samuel obeyed and went back to bed. This time, he was ready. Samuel. Speak, Lord, for your servant hears. God told Samuel he was going to judge Eli's sons for their disobedience. And he would also judge Eli because he did not stop his sons. God told Samuel these things and what he would do. Samuel lie down until morning but he probably didn't sleep. He was afraid to tell Eli what God had said. When you know the truth, it is your job to tell others. God will judge those who haven't believed in his son Jesus. Those people who reject him will not be allowed into the kingdom of heaven. It can be scary to tell people about Jesus, but you have to remember that God has given you the truth so you can share it with others. Can you think of a friend who doesn't know about Jesus? Will you tell them this week about what Jesus has done for them? In the morning, Eli asked Samuel what God had said. Samuel was afraid, but he knew God wanted him to speak to Eli. Samuel told Eli everything that God had said. Eli was very sad to hear of God's judgment on his family. He told Samuel, it is the Lord. Let him do what seems good to him. Even though Samuel was younger than Eli, God still used him. As Samuel continued to serve God, God spoke to him often. 
People knew that Samuel was a man of God, and they would go to him to hear what God had to say. God spoke to Samuel with his voice, and God still speaks to us today. God's word is the truth. It is our job to tell people what God is saying, not in a proud or rude way, but in gentleness and love. In order to share God's love with people around us, we need to be attentive to both what God is saying and to the needs of others. Remember, God does speak to us today. It is amazing. He often speaks to us through his word. We need to be attentive to what he is saying and obey him just like Samuel. You might think, how can I understand the Bible? It's such a big book and sometimes it's hard to read and hard to understand. I get it, I'm a kid too, but I found a really cool way to be able to read the Bible. There's this app called YouVersion Bible App, and there's even a kid's app. It will actually read the Bible to you. My sisters and I pick one book of the Bible and listen to it every night for a month. Then we pick another one. Some of the bigger books you might have to do half and half. It's really cool. We're learning a lot. All you have to do is go to the App Store and download the app for free.